Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rupneet and today I am going to be comparing my makeup inventory with last year. I have not bought a lot of things over this past year but I still have bought some and I finished a few I would say and I'm really excited to let you guys know that all of the makeup that I have minus eyeshadows fit into the box that I have shown in my thumbnail so that is really exciting I have another box that contains all of my lip products so that is all the makeup that I have of course minus eyeshadow palettes but still they don't occupy a lot of place either before we get started if you are new here please consider subscribing to my channel because i make a lot of panning videos now let's get into each category of the makeup so i have written all the numbers in here let's start off with face primers so last year i had two and i still have two like the same two because i don't use face primers a lot i have one from wet and wild impossible primer base and the other one is from my glam tinted perfection base primer i really like this one i haven't used this so i can't really say how it performs that's it for the makeup primers and moving on to the concealers last year i had three and i still have three concealers on me and they are all these three ones so this is from ordinary in the shade 2.0 yg and this is from elf and this is from essence both of these are not my shade this perfectly matches me these two are like really really pale i don't know what i was thinking when i got them but anyway i still have these three on me and i am working on this elf hydration camo concealer in my project pen hopefully i will have that one out of my collection when i do my next inventory update and now let's move on to the foundations so last year i had four foundations i still have four but not the same ones because i finished one of those the foundation i finished was this ordinary coverage foundation the one that i got to replace it was a backup for my anastasia beverly hills foundation it literally just says foundation so i have this backup and oh my god i can literally see my face in there <laughs> that's creepy anyway so i haven't opened this up yet because i will open it once i finish this foundation because i don't have a lot of foundation left in here either i did not use it like all of it it just leaked it has crappy packaging but i really love the formula of this one so i only have like this part left and this is in my graveyard project pan and i'm hoping to finish it this year along with these two guys i have the two from the last year this is the essence pretty natural foundation and i have it in my project pan i'm hoping to get it done this year as well and this is from my glam age defying foundation and I only wore it once and it was horrible. I really did not like the formula on this. I think there is not a lot of product in here either way. Standard foundation is like 30 mils. It's only 14 mils in here. So I'm hoping when I get to work on this one, I'll probably have to mix it with some sort of other product to make it work. But yeah, I'm not focusing on this one at all. So yeah, those are all my foundations and I'm hoping to have two less foundations by next year, but we'll see if I buy any more. And moving on to the exciting part, it's powders. So last year I had six powders and I finished two of them, which is really exciting. So now I'm only left with three powders technically, but I would say four, I'll get to that. So my two powder powders are this MAC sample size Studio Fix Powder Foundation. And the other one is this one size loose powder, it's translucent powder. And both of them are sample size, like they are pretty easy to get done. And the third powder that I have is living in this container. There's not a lot, as you can see, but this is like really pink on me. And I think it's a very old powder from a brand called Bonds. I'm not pretty sure. But yeah, I'm mostly using it for freckling purposes. And the fourth powder that I have is this one. There's a sneak peek. Oops. <laughs> so this is in my project pan and I hit pan on this powder. And this is not the original Wet n Wild powder by any means. I franken this one. I also have a reel, not reel, but YouTube short where I'm showing like how I did it. So I mixed a bunch of eyeshadows from my Morphe 35O Supernatural Girl palette and I made this powder. That's why I'm just counting it as my fourth powder. 
which is exciting because I can finish all of these powders if I really want to because there's not a lot of product in there either way. And my goal for my Franken powder is to use it up because it's in my project pan and all of the items that are in my project pan are for me to finish. And the next category is that hasn't changed at all and that's my highlighters. So last year I had five highlighters and I still have five the same five so first one is this elf bite-sized highlighter and blush palette and it's in the shade pomegranate it is in my project pan as well and my goal for this one is to finish this highlighter this year so far the progress looks really promising i am hoping i will get it done by end of this year and the next one is from becca it's in their classic best-selling shade i guess in champagne pop it's really pretty shade on me and i have some uses on this one not a lot but yeah that's my second highlighter and the third highlighter is also from becca it's in the shade vanilla cots it broke on me and i had to repress it fourth highlighter is this essence pure nude highlighter it looks really icy on me i haven't used it a lot or i would say i haven't really played around with this one to like make it work for me but this is what mine looks like it is in the shade number 10 be my highlight I haven't seen like any other shades in my drugstore either way so not sure how many shades it comes in but yeah i think this is gonna be here for many more years to come and my last highlighter is this becca light shifter doing tint liquid highlighter i am counting it as a liquid highlighter but i think some people might even use it as a base or i don't know <laughs> this is in my deck of panning project pan and my goal for this one is to use it 10 times just for me to figure out how to use it some of you have left really helpful comments on my video on how you use it so i'm excited to try it using that way i really appreciate all the comments and suggestions thank you so much for that so with that we are done with my highlighter category the next category is my blushes I am really excited about that because I finished one blush and last year I had four powder blushes and this year I have three. Over the past year I finished one of my Franken blush so I'm only left with three blushes and the first one of course comes from my e.l.f. Bite Sized Duo. I called it palette in my highlighter <laughs> category but it's it's a duo this is how mine looks like it has some wear and tear on this one but yeah that's my first blush and my second blush is my franken blush <laughs> this is another one of my franken blushes that i had last year but i was not using it but i rolled it in my project pan as well for me to finish it let's see if i'm able to like finish it this year I don't have like high hopes for this one to finish because I don't need a lot of this product. I only have to like dip my brush once very lightly. So we'll see how much progress I'll be able to make on this guy. So that's my second blush. And my third blush is this cult favorite Milani brush. Brush. It's blush. Sorry about that. And it's in the shade Luminoso. And I get the hype. It's really pretty. It's like a blush plus highlighter it makes my cheeks look really smooth this is truly lovely product and i totally get the hype so that's why i am no rush to finish it anytime sooner so that's my third blush i'm really excited that i'm one blush down i think i should just combine this next category into my powder or just blush category in general because i named it as my cream blush and last year i had one and i still have one this is my milk makeup lip and cheek tint i think i haven't used it at all <laughs> i have it for like more than two years but i haven't even opened up because i don't want it to go bad so we'll see when i feel like i'm ready to work on a cream blush because cream products do intimidate me and my next category is bronzers so last year i had two bronzers and this year i have four no i have not bought any more bronzers i made one bronzer and that's my franken bronzer right here i have a full video on how i made it it's basically a dupe for me for my nars laguna bronzer because that's a bit shimmery i wouldn't say it has like shimmer particles but it's, it has like a nice sheen and i prefer a matte bronzer over a sheeny one so what i did i used my same morphe 35 palette in order to make this bronzer right here 
and I'm so close to finish it. It's also in my project pan. So that is the first bronzer. And the next bronzer is this NARS Laguna. Third one is this e.l.f. bronzer in the shade Forever Sunkissed. That's how mine looks like. Not a lot of uses, but it's here. And the fourth bronzer is actually something that I was counting in my powders category last year. But as I started using it more, it was not a powder for me. Like I thought it would probably purpose as a face powder. I mean, it is a face powder, but for me, its shade is like really dark. So I thought I would be able to make it work in summertime, but it's still like very deep on my tanned skin as well. So I am counting it as my bronzer because it is a lovely bronzer in winter on me. Like I can still use it as a bronzer, but I guess it works the best in winter when I don't have a lot of tan. So that's the reason why my powder category came down drastically because I finished two powders and I moved one product out of that category to another one. Oh, I forgot to mention that this is my BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Powder in the shade 235. And the next category is Face Mist. I had one, I still have one the same one i feel like this category will be vanishing in future like once i'm done with this product i won't be buying any more face mist or setting sprays because i don't use them a lot that's what i figured that's where we are at with our face mist slash setting spray category and moving on to the eye primers i had one eye primer last time technically i had two but my nyx primer like its packaging broke so i just threw it all away because i did not know what to do with that i could have like transported it to some other container but i was just like not ready to deal with that i was not using it and i still counted it as one and i still have one which is my bh cosmetics base booster glitter and shadow glue i haven't opened it up yet i haven't used it so i don't know how it would compare to the nyx glitter glue primer i'm trying to finish my elf concealer and a bunch of eye pencils i'm using them as my eyeshadow base that's the reason i haven't opened it up yet and for my pencil eyeliners last year i had seven and this year i have seven again <laughs> i finished two eyeliners two black ones one of them was like true black and the other one was leaning on slightly gray sort of spectrum and i bought two new liners but i'm really happy to let you guys know that i don't have any duplicate colors on me except for these two guys so this is wet and wild eyeliner pencil in the shade i guess something white <laughs> and this one is my jumbo eye pencil i have not opened it up because i don't want it to go bad before using this thing up this is really old i want to use it up it has been pain of my existence because it is really slow mover i've been working on it for like i think two years now but i have made really great progress i would love to see like more progress on this one so i'm not sure like if this one would be done by next year but we'll try we'll try our best so yeah these are only two duplicate products in my opinion and my wet and wild white pencil is in my project pan this is a bronze pencil and i am working on this one in my deck of panning project pan I want to finish it up look how tiny it has gotten it's so cute so i feel like i'll finish it up very quickly and i can get my number down to six but i'm comfortable with that number as long as i don't have a lot of duplicate items and the next eyeliner i have is this brown eyeliner pencil from wet and wild i had it misplaced and it was lost from my collection for a long time but i discovered it i guess recently i'd say last year but anyway this is the only brown eyeliner that i have the next two are my aoa studio eye pencils one is in starfish the other one is in cool days these are gel liners and they are really colorful i'm wearing it on my waterline today like this one and these are again in my deck of panning project pan and the last one is this faces canada magnetized kajol it is like really true black eyeliner so i'm really happy with all of the pencil eyeliners that i have now moving on to the liquid liners so last year i had five i decluttered a bunch of them and i finished 
one eyeliner so now i only have three so one of them is my elf cream liner which i couldn't find anywhere but i have it and the next two are my faces canada liquid eyeliner in the shade black and this nyx epic wear liner in shade yellow so i am really glad with what i have right now and for my mascaras last year i had three and this year i also have three but not the same ones i finished two mascaras and bought two so these are mascaras that i have these are essence lash princess ones and this is milk makeup kush mascara this is in my graveyard project pen but i haven't started working on this one yet because i want to finish my lash princess mascara it's sculpted volume mascara first and then i will get to this one and this is brand new i haven't opened it up yet and last two categories are my lip liners and lipsticks and for my lip liners last year i had six and this year i again have six those are not the same six though so i finished two lip liners and i got two new lip liners. I finished one from AOA Studio in the shade Crush. It was a pencil liner and the other one I finished was by Wet n Wild in the shade called Gone Burgundy. It was their gel lip liner formula and I got these two lip liners from AOA Studio again. All of the lip liners that I have are these ones so I'm really happy with my lip liners as well. And for my lipsticks, I have 30 lipsticks now. Those are all in here and last year i had 28 i believe i got two new lipsticks so these are all the lipsticks that i have i'm not gonna go through one by one because then we'll be here forever but that is what my makeup inventory looks like this year versus last year i'm really excited to share with you guys that i'm making really good progress and i haven't been buying a lot of makeup either which is really good but that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for sticking with me until the end. I hope you have a wonderful day or night depending on when you're watching my video. I will see you in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye!